Okay guys, here we are with the uh, new AirSafe system and um, today we're going to go through how to set up sequencing. We're currently on the run screen um, where you can see we're running at 153 PSI. Uh, this unit tests to 175 and has a sensor that's capable of 200 PSI. Yep, that's correct, 200 PSI. It shows us our gear is in the down position if you look at the bottom row. To go into program mode, we push the centre joystick once and that takes us to the program menu and we're going to go down to sequencer and we're in the sequencing menu so we have sequence up down um, what we want to do is set up our outputs first get them roughly in the right position so we go into outputs let's select uh, output one and all of the outputs are the same um, at the top it says sequence output one that tells you which channel you're going to be working on we've got speed which goes 0 to 15 0 being no, um, no speed decrease, 15 being really slow. We've got an up position and a down position for the servo. Um, to reverse a servo, you literally change the up and down position in the uh, microsecond values. And we'll, let's just show that now. So trusty helping hand has the up position selected. We're going to pan out and look at a servo. As he moves the up position, it will go to the up position and then you can increment slowly or hold the joystick in that position and it will move quickly. Um, as I said, you can swap reverse, just swap the endpoints, and that'll literally reverse the servo. From factory, it comes programmed with very, very little movement. For obvious reasons, we don't want to turn on a unit, push the wrong button, and smash gear doors. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, you, trusty fingers, do you just want to set a couple of sort of roughly good places? Mm -hmm. So roughly there and there. That'll do. Let's come back out. Okay, so that's, that's how we set up all outputs, whether it's an air valve or whether it is a servo. Okay, let's come back out now. We'll go to the sequencer setup. Here is where we set up the steps of the sequencer. The sequencer comes with five steps, which will do just about every task. Um, as you can see at the top, trusty fingers are moving left and right on the joystick. It's going through each step, and we can see the positions relative to each output. So in, in step one, the down position, we've got uh, output one and two being used as gear um, and three and four being used as doors. So gear is down, doors are up. Step two, gear is down. Uh, sorry, doors are down, gear is down. So the doors have literally opened. Step three, we're sequencing our gear to the up position now. And let's go down one and we'll put a bit more of a delay on it because the, the gear might take a little bit of time. So let's say, yeah, that's about right, three seconds. Go back, step up to four now. And you can see our gear is now cycled up and our doors are coming up. And then in gear, in position five, we're all up. So effectively, position five is not being used for this particular sequence. Um, position five might be for additional doors, etc., or more, more frills. All right, so now we can come out and um, come back out to the sequencing page. And we've highlighted the sequence. This is where we can go up or down by moving the joystick left or right. I'm going to pan out here. And Wonderful Looking Fingers is going to push the sequencing to the up position. And there we go. There's our sequence taking place. And delay. And that's gear doors up. So let's go down now. So gear doors are coming open. Gear comes down. Gear doors close. That simple. That's pretty much it, folks, uh, for the sequencing side of it. Very, very simple unit to use, and um, we hope you'll enjoy it. Thanks for your time.